I am running out of things to say. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Hey everyone, Duncan here for Manudox and welcome back to another Manudox tutorial. Today we are going to work on a repeat command. This repeat command is super simple as you can just build on top of it yourself. To get started, we'll add a new state to the track scheduler, which is a uh, public boolean repeating, and by default it's false. Next up, we'll go over to our onTrackEnd method, and we're gonna say if this.repeating, we're gonna return. What we're also gonna do is say this player dot start track track dot make clone and false for no interrupt make clone my keyboard doesn't like me today this make clone is very important as a track keeps the state of where it is with playing because of it keeping state where it is with playing, we need to clone it so it resets the playtime. If you do not clone the track and reset the playtime, you'll get an exception telling you to use make clone instead. So if you get that exception, you have to call make clone here. Next up, we'll go over to our music package and make a new class called repeat command. Like any other commands in this series, this implements I command. And if you have a different command setup than we do, just ignore everything that is not inside of the handle method. Because inside this handle method is where the real code is. I'm going to set the help to loops the current song. And I'm gonna set the name to repeat. To really quickly start. With this repeat command, I'm going to I'm going over to the skip command and just copy a whole bunch of code uh, up until the audio player uh, assignment, just to save time. If you don't know how this code works, I suggest looking up the tutorial for the skip command as it will be explained over there. What we need to do next is pretty simple. We're gonna get the repeating state of the track scheduler and invert it and assign it to a variable called new repeating and then we're gonna say that repeating is new repeating finally we're gonna send a message to the channel so channel dot send a message format and don't forget to queue this and the format we're gonna set is the the player has been set to and I'm just gonna make that oh bolt and we're going to say new repeating uh, repeating if it's true and not repeating if it's false. Now the last thing that we need to do is go over to our command manager, register the command, which is very simple. Oh, just add command new repeat command. And let's go over to Discord to check it out. So let's make the bot join the channel with explanation mark, explanation mark, join. Next up, we're gonna say play, and I just got, next we're gonna say play, and I just have some stream bits, which is no copyrighted sounds. And now I'm gonna say repeat, and let's wait for this song to finish until it starts repeating. And now that the song is finished, you can hear because the player was set to repeating, it will start again. So if we type the repeat command again, you will see that it says the player has been set to not repeating and it will turn off the repeating. So let's wait until the song is over. Cool. And now that is done, I will thank you for watching. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe to my Yorks if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. 
in the next tutorial. And just between us, um, the next tutorial will be a leave command, and the tutorial after will be an event waiter tutorial. But keep this between us, okay? Goodbye.